Hey everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the alpha quadra types. What are some things you're going to hear in an alpha quadra conversation? And yes, this is related to socionics, not MBTI, but for those of you guys who do not understand socionics just yet, don't you worry because as usual, I have simplified socionics in a way that is understandable for anybody okay so don't even worry about it i know people won't believe me but i have managed to explain socionics in a way that is still accurate even though it's not as lengthy so let's do this let's get into it okay so the alpha quadratypes for me anyway are the easiest to spot their conversations are the easiest for me to pinpoint and go aha that is an alpha quadra type here's the easiest thing to pinpoint the alpha quadra if i could summarize this quadra it is a judgment free zone this is a very you know, Socionics describes it as a fun-loving quadra, and I don't know that fun-loving is the best way to describe this quadra, but it's simply put, yes, it's a very merry quadra. They do not like harsh judgments. They don't like other people judging at all. It's all about the freedom to be able to express yourself, the freedom of truth. And I think that this individualistic nature in the alphas almost can look like a gamma quadra type like especially like the esfp and the entp kind of i don't know in a weird way they kind of have the same vibe in that sense although when they get into a relationship or something they realize how different their values are but you know outside of those really intimate relationships i don't know if intimate relationships will work but regardless there is this similarity they're very very democratic types or democratic quadras so again back to the alpha quadras being judgment-free quadras. So what does this mean? So it's the absence of introverted feeling, okay? And for example, if an alpha quadra type is engaged in a conversation, they're usually going to be free of dogmas, free of ideology, free of force. It's just very much like, let me just be me, you know, and whatever that means to me. Because the alphas don't have FI, I find that their conversations tend to get very over the top, um, very politically incorrect, almost cringy, the things that they come up with. Because this quadra doesn't value extroverted sensing, even if they may think to themselves, wow, this is very horrible, this is very politically incorrect or whatever, um, they're not likely to say anything about it. They're not going to use force. They're not going to use personal judgments to make final conclusions on somebody's character or anything like this. That's why this quadra is known to be a very fun loving quadra. Okay. But I don't think that, again, I don't think fun loving is the best way to describe it. I think it's more like they're just all about the freedom, being able to express your truth. You know, um, I, I don't know what socionics this is from, but they're complex is the complex of closed mouth so they don't like when their mouths are being forced to close like they're forced to not say something they're forced to not speak their truth this is a very alpha quadra conversation i think that this is why the alpha quadra types there's a lot of comedians that are usually in the alpha quadra uh, it's either alpha quadra or beta but beta humor is a little bit different i will say that the alpha quadra a lot of stand-up comedians like i think Eddie Murphy, Jim Carrey, these are alpha quadra personality types that just say, you know, whatever the hell they want to say. They're very innovative in that way too because they push the boundaries, you know. They have that introverted sensing, but they always want to push the boundaries of that introverted sensing. Like, here's my comfort zone, but let me stretch that as far as it can go. Even the SI leads or the SI ego types, the ISFJ, ESFJ are kind of like this, which is why even though alpha quadras have extroverted feeling, it's a little bit different from the beta quadras because the beta quadras have FE, se so beta quadras are the most socially charismatic quadra i'll talk about that in another video but yeah beta types because their fe is working in real time in the real moment this quadra is very much about saying the right things all the time they just somehow know what to say and again very social butterflies the beta types alpha quadras are not like this i don't think that i've really talk to an alpha quadra personality type that would consider themselves socially charismatic. And again, even though they may be good at demonstrating this charismatic side of them because they do have extroverted feeling, it's not natural because what is natural for them is to want to push the boundaries of that, uh, I guess, 
fun, right? It, it, they want to push the boundaries of these jokes, the laughter. They want to enable and entertain other people, pushing the boundaries. And yeah, sometimes that may be very awkward, you know, like sometimes they might, that SI might be like, oh, uh, yeah, let's peel it back a little bit. That was a little bit too much. That was a little bit awkward. And I know some of you guys may be thinking, what's so bad about fun loving, right? If it's such a merry fun loving quadra, what is the negative thing about this quadra? And from what I observe, the negative thing about this quadra is that they're in, they have introverted thinking. So they're very impersonal personality types. So even if you tell them something like, hey, you know, like what you're saying, you're making me sad. Let's say I say something like that to an alpha quadra type. They're very much like, what does that even mean? Well, define sad. What makes you sad? Let, help me to understand what is making you sad. And this could mean two things. This could mean that they are going too far in trying to understand that person or the other way around is that they don't try enough to understand that person and they're very much like, I'll validate you for what you're feeling, but I just don't agree with it. You know, and there's like this detachedness to the alpha quadra. That's the worst trait of the quadra, I think. But again, the great thing is when you put a bunch of alpha quadra types together, that's why it's such a fun, merry quadra because Nobody in that quadra is saying bullshit, like talking about feelings and shit. <laughs> They're very much like, shove your feelings aside and let's just have fun. You know, everything's about positivity. Let's do hard work. You know, it's about helping the community. Don't be so self-interested. Don't be so subjective like that. Let's help each other out. So if I could summarize, I would say the alpha quadra is the most judgment-free quadra. Fun loving. It's all about freedom of speech speech and exploration of this truth, this universal truth, if they can even find it. But until then, they're not really going to invest themselves into anything. You know, this includes even nuances and feelings. Like I'm not going to invest myself in believing your feelings or um, regulating your feelings. You know, if you feel that way, I can understand as much as I can right now, but I'm not gonna invest myself in it. I'm gonna explore a little bit more, but hey, let's have fun. And if you are an FJ alpha quadra type, it's all about advocating for others. It's about comfortable communities, comfortable relationships, or enabling the social environment to be as comfortable as possible possible. This is the Alpha Quadra. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all of that made sense. Do you guys know any Alpha Quadra types? Leave it down below in the comments, or maybe you're an Alpha Quadra type yourself, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!